In this brief demo, I want to walk you through a few sites that help us make sense of sizing a power supply. I mean, if you're going to build a system from somebody, you could look at the specifications of each device and look at its power draw, and you'd be surprised, frankly, some of the beefier processors and beefier memory and, mem and video cards specifically, they draw a large amount of power. As a matter of fact, nowadays it's pretty standard for PCI Express video cards to work directly with 12 volt current. There was a time where video was 5. I don't know if it ever did 3.3, but it's a different world nowadays. By the way, these sites that I'm at, you can get the links for yourself by looking at the course notes. I always put together a course notes document on the right side of the web page. If you're looking at the, if you're watching this, I should say on the Pluralsight website, click the link for exercise files and you'll get all of these links. All right. So anyway, this is from newegg.com. They're a really good source for hardware actually. And this is just a basic little widget that allows you to select, for instance, a CPU. I'm just going to grab beefy stuff here, high end stuff. Gigabyte revision six. Now the problem, you need to be careful when you're looking at these calculators. There's always going to be a hedge. Notice down here, Newegg says that while we can recommend you stuff or basically give you recommendations, remember that other devices that aren't in this list, like PCI cards, external devices, Firewire, USB, cooling fans, they may need more power. So don't take this as the be all end all. Generally speaking, the suggestion is take whatever your expected wattage load is on a computer and multiply it by 1.6 and that should be around the vicinity of where you're going with a power supply wattage. So again I'm just going to step through here. I'm going to say I have four 8 gig cards. I have a Blu-ray optical drive and I have a 10,000 RPM 3.5 inch HDD and let's just say I have two of those. So we hit calculate and it says that they recommend a power supply that can give at least 566 watts. Now you have to be a little bit skeptical. You know the saying, buyer beware. You have to ask, why would Newegg put this power supply calculator on their website? Is it for the good of the community? Probably not so much. Remember that they're in the business of selling power supplies and components, so it's in their best interest to help you find the right power supply so that you don't file a chargeback complaint saying, hey, I bought a power supply based, you know, from your website and it fried my system. And to that point, notice it says find PSUs and presumably will be taken to a web page that actually, and sure enough, it is filtered for that range. So that's actually pretty cool that Newegg has that capability. That's nice. Another site that I've used a lot is OuterVision.com's Extreme Power Supply Calculator. This is kind of new since the last time I've been here. They have a basic interface as well as an expert interface. Now, expert really gives you much more flexibility. Another thing just to put in your hat to think about is that you need to think, does this supply calculator actually verify that my components will work together. You know, come to think of it, when I was doing the Newegg calculator, it didn't flag me to say that my processor did or didn't work with that particular motherboard. So that's just some extra work that I would have to put in, that validation step. It looks like that this site, although Extreme doesn't sell stuff, it looks like they do advertisements in order to offset their costs. So it looks like they have some context advertisements from Amazon here and this like I said takes in some extra metrics like the expected amount of computer utilization your fan loadout and your liquid cooling this can save you a lot of time when you're kidding a system the third page and these are just three that I like there are other power supply calculators out there that you may like to that point please feel free to share your favorite sites with the rest of us at pluralsite.com I don't know if you know this but there's actually a discussion tab on the web page that you're at now and you can talk with other students and I get an email notification every time someone posts in there so I will answer your questions so fire away this is powersupplycalculator.net and again it's just another one of those calculators this one kind of strikes a balance between the simplicity of new eggs and the extremity of the extreme power supply calculator this one's kind of cool it takes into account whether your video cards are linked using SLI or CF and also I I thought this was interesting. It can take into account CPU overclocking as well. 